What are the issues with nuclear energy? Nuclear plants produce the power that drives the economy and industries. But when they break down, they can destroy whole communities. Establishing safety measures to prevent accidents requires time, money and effort. And it must be done under the watchful eyes of people who are independent and have no vested interests. The public also needs to be convinced that those acting as watchdogs are indeed truly independent. Transparency and openness are crucial. To achieve this, regulators need to adopt state-of-the-art international standards, reflect the views of local residents, and establish rules on how power companies supervise nuclear plants. In addition, regulators must discuss the effectiveness of their measures with plant operators and take necessary steps to ensure safety. The whole process should be shared with the public as soon as possible. But with Tokyo Electric Power Company, regulation failed. Long before the accident at Fukushima, the company had been lobbying regulators and scientists, insisting that safety measures were too much trouble and not immediately necessary. The utility ignored international recommendations and kept assuring residents that nuclear plants are safe. It accepted regulations only if they didn't disrupt the operation of its nuclear reactors. The operator had succeeded in capturing the regulators, who were supposed to remain independent. Japan's legislation should have defined the respective roles of the operator and the government in the event of an accident, putting the safety of citizens before the promotion of nuclear power. But it failed to do so. Japan now has to deal not only with the crippled nuclear plant, but also with the stores of spent fuel in reactors across the nation. The country's safety depends on keeping all that spent fuel constantly cooled. Public opinion is split on whether Japan should continue relying on nuclear energy. It cannot escape the risks. Regardless of what the country decides, the Parliamentary Commission believes Japan needs to face those risks squarely. And it needs democratic mechanisms to ensure the will of the people is reflected in its policies.